What's up, YouTube? All right, so here's the thing. So I'm gonna do another video. The issue I've been having, my cab, I, I'm getting way too much bounce in my cab. Little bitty bumps, I bounce all over the place. And another thing, every time I get ready to put my fuel nozzle in on both sides, I have to fight it in from these side rails. I, it's hard, I gotta always sit there and fight the nozzle to be able to get it in. And I can kind of clearly tell I'm not having that much clearance from this. So for those of you that don't know this, you have a cab leveling valve on the back of the cab of your truck. All models are gonna be different. So the only thing I can show you is what I got going on with this 2016 International Pro Star with the Beast. All right, so most trucks got one airbag, two airbags. They ain't filled up all the way. This right here, the leveling shaft, and here's the valve. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna remove this cap right here. All right, let's see if you can see inside there. If not, I will get a good video, I mean a good picture, which I will post, and you should be able to see it. Should be a picture right in here. And that's what it looks like. So always, when you're working on this, look at this, make sure yours is the same way. Some of them will be a Phillips, some of them will be a flathead. Now, on some other models, on an old truck I used to have on a Western Star, it's got the same piece right here, minus this clamp, it's got a, a metal rod with a, a screw tight clamp. What you do is unscrew it and you can slide that rod through and adjust the level that way. So, what tools and everything that I'm going to use? Use some gloves, needle nose pliers. So I look in the inside, all it is is a little hole. So I'm going to stick my needle nose in there, grab all to it, and adjust it that way. A pad of paper and a pen. And you ask why? Because this is why. I'm going to check the distance right now by holding my pad of paper if I can get this wind. And I'm sorry if you can't hear it that good. Oop, about to drop. The wind might get too loud, but I'm going to measure to see where my cab's at right now because you don't want to go too far. See, and also inside here, see these straps? These your distance right. Look at all that slack. There's way too much slack in there. No reason for that. After I adjust this, I can almost guarantee I'm gonna have a better rod, my cab will sit good, and I'm more than likely to be able to put my fuel things in. Now, I also noticed on my valve here, it's set way off. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's set way off. I'm gonna adjust this and move this to probably right inside this box right here. And that should give me about the distance that I need. I don't, like I said, I really don't know too much about this, but just going off a little bit of common sense here and other things that I've done, but I'm, I'm seeing that marking on there and I think that that's where it needs to be set at. Why it's off, I have no idea. So, I'm gonna try to prop my phone up without it falling down anywhere to where y'all can kind of see what I'm doing here. So if the video's a little crooked, Bear with me here. Alright. Get my gloves on. Got my needle nose. Let's get on in here. Get this done. Let's see what we got. Too high, 
going too fast and overextend your bags. paper see about how much came up but that looks like oh yeah oh yeah she might be sitting up just a little too high might be able to come down with her a little bit I'm going to check and see yeah I'm just going I'm gonna drop it I'm gonna come down with it just a hair feels like it's just a little bit too high come down just a little bit you want to have a little bit of slack in it you don't want too much though all right I'm looking to see where my valve marks at I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit below that Couldn't hear the pressure releasing off of it. Everything settled down a little bit. And that should put me about right where I need to be. Check her out. Eh. I think I released too much off of it. But I'm going to go ahead and kill this video. I don't want to bore y'all with too, too much of this nonsense. Me back and forth, me back and forth. But, well, actually I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. So, today's Friday. Oh, boy, I got a stopwatch on. But I think today's the 21st, 22nd. This is Friday. 22nd now had a good thing happen to me today with a driver I did another loot uh, I did a YouTube live video appreciate that driver with that free uh, uh paying it forward to me gave me a free shower it's pretty awesome you don't see stuff like that too much anymore but so I'm getting ready to go back solo which that was the plans anyway I was gonna run team trucks just for a little while let a buddy of mine get back into use with the electronic logs and all that stuff. Let Aaron, it's been a while since a man been in trucking. He'd been out for a while. Didn't really know anything about the e-logs and how they ran the 30 minutes. He didn't have to deal with all that whenever he was driving. So I done him a solid. Let him come on the truck with me for a while. He made real good money. Uncle Sam, of course, took a big chunk out of my money. But, so, 14 days and counting down and they're taking the beast from me so the beast is probably gonna go whoever gets this truck better take care of it but i have a feeling they're taking it off the road they're gonna sell it so whoever buys this truck this is actually a really good truck it runs good gets good fuel mileage i keep track of the fuel mileage on this truck with a fuel gauge oh those of you don't know about the app the fuel gauge app it's really good tracks fuel mileage that's the best way you're going to get a true accurate miles per gallon that's the only way the one that's going to show on your dash and all of that it's not going to be as accurate as actually calculating the fuel to mile ratio sorry the only way to do that is keeping track of how much fuel 
All right, so I feel that I've completed this down. Look like we're sitting pretty good. Check her out. Yep. All right, she looks good to me. Okay, so went from this problem with everything being too low to now, oh yeah, look at that gap. That gap I got now, that looks like where it needs to be. My cab looks like it's sitting good. It's a lot higher up. Oh yeah, see? See my strap? I don't have all of that slack in it no more, but I still got enough slack to give in the motion of the truck coming up and down when going down the road. So, I'm gonna get my stuff picked up, go inside the truck, and I'll finish out the video in there. Before I get in the cab of the truck, one thing I always like to do, and I'll show y'all, free grease my fifth wheel. I always throw grease on that fifth wheel. Especially if y'all do a lot of stuff like I do with a lot of these drop and hooks and in and out of trailers, in and out of trailers. Y'all got to put grease on there. I normally use the Lucas. I was out when I went inside the truck stop. I didn't end up having any of the Lucas fifth wheel grease that I normally use. So, bought me a tube of regular red grease the other day. Put that on it like I did just now. Drop my airbags down, go slide under there to try to keep that grease all on that fifth wheel. If you put all that grease on that fifth wheel right there and you stay up at full height and that trailer's low, as soon as you slide underneath it, you're gonna break all that grease right off. So it's pointless. Drop your airbags, make sure your trailer's up high. As soon as that kingpin gets right there into that hole, into the hole in your fifth wheel right there. Well, uh, here, let's see if I can get it in the camera right there, right in there. Then stop. Let your airbags up and get underneath that baby. It'll keep that grease on that fifth wheel where you need it. Whew, yeah, all right. Feels good to be back in the truck. Good old clean, clean truck. So, I hope that video ends up helping somebody out. You know, I was having the issue putting in the fuel nozzle on the passenger side of the truck. And I could feel like my cab had just had way too much play in it. Every little bitty bump, like I would shake. So, got back there looking at the leveler, kind of figured it out on my own. So, hopefully that helps some of y'all out. Maybe you'll pay attention and look and see. Um, I did it as best as I could figure it out. Seems to have worked up, worked out. Lifted the cab. I'll attach an additional video to this to let y'all know if it worked or not, or I just might comment down at the end of this one. As for now, after my grocery shopping expedition earlier, got me some fresh pinko de gallo chips got my coke looks like i'm gonna be sharing with maria today i'm gonna do some video editing on there and for if anybody who's wondering i'm up here in clayton new mexico and i found richard's boudin and richard's sausage man i went to town in there i couldn't believe these people up here in new mexico actually know how to eat good flavored food good for y'all people up north need to get some more food with some flavor in it so but that's outstanding y'all have a good day hope the video helped y'all don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to see more videos like this you never know what you're gonna get i could be on any kind of rampage but i will be attaching another video right after this one it's gonna be a sad day in 14 days and i'll explain that in the video but until then Stick around, be looking for the next video.